Hello friends in this episode i will provide information on one of the most important commercial spice crop chili so get ready welcome to planting nature friends this plant is also called as pepper hot pepper paprika capsicum chili belongs to a family solanaceae which is the same nightshade family to which tomato and potato belong the scientific name is capsicum annum in hindi it is called as mirchi chili is considered to be native to tropical america chili plant can grow up to 1.5 meters the stems are semi woody highly branched green to brown greenish colored the leaves are alternately arranged on stem they are simple sharp pointed the upper surface is dark green but beneath it is pale green the flowers are small usually white to light greenish in color they can be seen either single or in clusters of two or three born to the axils of leaves each flower has around 5 to 6 petals and are bisexual that is having both male and female characteristics the fruits are berry type and highly variable in terms of size shape color degree of pungency while the common characteristics are this fruit is non pulpy and hollow with many seeds inside it usually the ripe fruit turns red in color in some varieties this fruit can grow up to 30 cm long The red color of this fruit is due to a chemical called capsaicin and the pungency is due to a chemical called capsaicin. The seeds are flattened, small, usually pale yellow color. These seeds also contain capsaicin hence they are also pungent. Now let's look at the uses of this plant. Chili is one of the highly consumed spice crop which has numerous culinary uses. It is most commonly consumed as cooked, fried and processed with other foods. it can add flavor to almost all kinds of foods chili is also sometimes consumed fresh in salads as well chili is a very important ingredient of food industry and used in preparation of numerous food products the chili fruit has medicinal properties as well it is used in ayurveda to relieve pain to treat diarrhea sore muscles etc chili is also grown as an ornamental plant nutritionally the edible portion of chili consists of 88% of water 0.3% of protein 1.3% of carbohydrate and 0.1% of fat fiber is around 0.2% let's now look at some of the health benefits of chili chili fruit is loaded with antioxidants which helps in prevention of cancer the pigments of this fruit can decrease triglycerides and blood cholesterol thereby promoting a healthy cardiovascular system chili helps in cooling the body this is because of the presence of capsaicin which is the reason for its pungency but it also has the property to stimulate sweating and thereby cooling the body capsaicin also has the stimulating effect on mucous membrane especially nose and sinus which is very beneficial when combating flu common cold sinus infections and it is also proven to be effective against migraine chili is a natural pain reliever hence it is widely used in ayurveda the pungency of chili can cause salivation aiding in digestion and it is laxative as well Consuming green chilies can release endorphins which will boost the mood. Chili is loaded with vitamin C, beta carotene, hence it is very good for eyes, skin and immune system. It also has vitamin K which helps in decreasing the risk of osteoporosis and bleeding disorders. The iron and copper content in chili helps in increase the red blood cell formation. Chili also has antibacterial properties which helps in treating many skin infections as well. Studies have shown that chilies can also helps in balancing the blood sugar levels. Although there are numerous health benefits of chili, it has some side effects as well. Chili should not be consumed too much as it may lead to acidity, ulcers and other stomach issues. People already suffering with stomach issues should consume less chili spice. People with bleeding disorders also should be careful while consuming lot of chili due to the vitamin K content in it. Now let's see how to propagate this plant. Chili can be easily propagated through seeds, transplantation and stem cuttings as well. Usually the flowering starts at 3rd month and harvest can be started from 4th month itself. This plant can be easily grown in containers as well and requires very less care. Hence it forms an ideal and must grown plant in every home and roof gardens. Production wise China is the top producer in the world followed by Mexico. So that's all in this episode. If you like the information please subscribe my YouTube channel, follow on Facebook page. and don't forget to grow chilies at your home thank you for watching have a nice day